Hi, this is Joe and welcome back to the shop. Uh, we're going to do a teardown in this video on the Bauer uh, USB charger. Um, if you saw the last video on the uh, USB or on the uh, Bauer uh, battery pack, you know we uh, we uh, looked at the inside. We did a non-technical um, overview of what the battery uh, is doing, what it's constructed of, and we also made the uh, determination that uh, the Bauer line of tools does not put any battery management system uh, inside of the battery pack. That all of the battery ma management systems are actually in the devices themselves. So let's uh, open up this, take a look inside, and then we can give you again a, a non-technical overview, but with enough information to uh, uh, give you information on uh, whether this product is good or not. So uh, I have a, a T10 here. This is the circuit board of the USB charger. Um, if you notice, uh, saying what I was just saying about the battery packs, You'll notice there's uh, pins here for the positive and negative uh, supply voltage from the battery to the USB charging device. There's also this inner pin here, and this inner pin is uh, pulling information um, <clears throat> basically by this circuit board from the, from the battery pack, and then it is... Uh, the actual battery management system is uh, included within the USB charging uh, device here. So uh, again, I'm not going to go through and uh, tell you what chips are on here and what the chips are doing, but uh, just to let you know that uh, what, what this board is doing is uh, the battery pack is 20 volts and amp and a half capacity. So what it's doing is this board is pulling uh, 20 volts and up to an amp and a half and it is taking that and stepping that voltage and current down to the USB spec uh, which is uh, 5 volts and 500 milliamps of current. And then it is, uh, the chips on here uh, are managing and monitor, monitoring um, if there is a, a linear regulator on this board so it is uh, properly uh, managing the voltage and the current to supply that current to the USB ports and then to monitor the state of the battery pack uh, and provide you uh, uh, again with a proper USB charging for whatever devices you plug into uh, this USB device. Um, the construction of the board uh, doesn't look too bad. Um, there is a little bit of crud on the back but not too bad. Um, there's no conformal coating on the surface of uh, the circuit board and that isn't bad. Um, but as long as you keep this dry and keep the dirt and grime off of it you should be okay. Uh, in, in some cases I have taken um, electronic component uh, boards and uh, sprayed a conformal coating on them where uh, that particular device could be exposed to moisture, dirt, and grime, and that helps increase the life of the electrical components and the board itself because it keeps the crud off, crud and the moisture away from shorting out um, the components on the board. Uh, but the overall construction is good. You have some uh, potting material here, which uh, in this particular case is a type of epoxy that is holding down uh, the wires uh, to the circuit board so they won't jiggle and come loose or short out. Um, you also have some potting uh, epoxy around the inductors on here. That's your coils right here. Um, the wire between the actual circuit board and uh, the connectors uh, are insulated and have a um, a heat shrink piece of tubing over here uh, again as added protection uh, to the wires uh, and overall the components on there uh, look pretty good the soldering uh, on this board looks pretty clean so I would say all in all it's uh, 
it's a pretty good, uh, uh, pretty good circuit board, uh, pretty fair quality for being manufactured um, in the Far East, and uh, and of the tests I've done, um, it uh, it charges the device properly. If you watch one of the earlier videos where I actually charged my phone with this device, so uh, all in all, this doesn't look too bad. I paid $17 at Harbor Freight for this uh, USB charging device. It has two. USB ports and again the battery management system is built into uh, the actual device and not the battery pack itself. So hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to put this back together and uh, we'll see you next video.